Imagine a world where beavers rival the size of bears, sloths tip the scales at over 3,000 pounds, and seven-foot-tall camels wander the shores of vast marshy seas. This surreal prehistoric landscape was the awe-inspiring realm awaiting the first humans as they ventured from Asia into North America around 14,000 years ago. As the glaciers retreated during the late Pleistocene, a period commonly referred to as the Ice Age, North America teemed with a diverse array of magnificent creatures known as megafauna. However, approximately 10,000 years ago, a catastrophic event led to the near extinction of these colossal beings. The cause of the Ice Age megafauna mass extinction remains a topic of ongoing debate. Many archaeologists point to overhunting by early humans who encountered these sizable prey animals that showed little fear of the newly arrived two-legged beings. Some argue that overhunting by humans was just one contributing factor. The mass extinctions might have also resulted from a sudden climatic shift that significantly cooled the planet 12,800 years ago, known as the Younger Dryas. But until that mystery is solved, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of Ice Age America's extinct giants, some of which we may be grateful are no longer with us. Number one, Mammoth and Mastodon. The woolly mammoth, Mammothus primigenius, stands out as one of the most renowned among the extinct Ice Age megafauna. These colossal creatures reached impressive heights of up to 12 feet at the shoulders and tipped the scales at a staggering six to eight tons. Inhabiting the northern steppes of Ice Age North America, the woolly mammoth relied on its enormous 15-foot curved tusks both to forage beneath the snow for sustenance and to ward off potential threats from predators. During the late Pleistocene, North America was a haven for at least four distinct species of colossal elephant-like creatures. The American mastodon, Mammoth americanum, stands as the most ancient among North America's elephants. Its lineage traced back 15 million years ago when its ancestors traversed the Bering Strait from Asia. Approximately 3.5 million years ago, these ancestors evolved into the American mastodon. Distinguishing itself from the later mammoths, the mastodon exhibited a shorter, stockier build. The structure of its teeth also tells us that mastodons didn't graze on grass like mammoths. Instead, they specialized in tearing off leaves and even whole tree branches for sustenance. Mammoths arrived in North America in two separate waves, roughly 1.5 million years ago. A mammoth known as Mammuthus meridionalis traversed the Bering Land Bridge and subsequently diverged into two distinct mammoth species, the relatively less hairy Columbian mammoth and the Jeffersonian mammoth. Then more recently, around 500,000 years ago, the woolly mammoth made its entrance into the continent. Mammoths thrived across the expanse of Ice Age North America stretching from Canada down to Honduras. While most mammoths and mastodons met their demise during the significant megafauna extinction event 10,000 years ago, archeological findings have unearthed evidence indicating that isolated groups of mammoths persisted on Arctic islands as recently as 4,500 years ago. Mammoths coexisted with civilizations such as the ancient Egyptians, persisting in their existence even as grand wonders like the pyramids were being constructed. Number two, the dire wolf. The name dire wolf may evoke a sense of dread originating from its Latin name Canis Dirus, which translates to terrible wolf. Despite its wolf-like stature with similar height and length to contemporary wolves, DNA analysis surprisingly reveals that the dire wolf was not closely genetically related to the gray wolf. Instead, it was a distant kin of modern jackals. Dire wolves once roamed extensively across North America, ranging from the icy terrains of northern Canada to the southern reaches of Mexico. They displayed remarkable adaptability, thriving in a diverse array of ecosystems, from the frigid boreal forests to expansive grassland plains and lush tropical wetlands. Similar to their grey wolf cousins, dire wolves were social creatures, often hunting into packs consisting of 30 or more individuals. Their formidable pack dynamics enabled them to successfully pursue and prey upon large animals such as mammoths, giant sloths and Ice Age horses. Third on the list is saber-toothed tigers and scimitar cats. 
The saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon fatally, stands out as one of the most iconic creatures from Ice Age North America. Skeletons of these formidable predators, unearthed from sites like the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, reveal upper canines that averaged an impressive seven inches in length paired with a jaw capable of an astonishing 130 degree opening. Saber-toothed cats, despite their name, are not closely related to modern tigers or any of today's living felines. In fact, their physical characteristics deviate significantly from those of present-day tigers or lions. These creatures were approximately a foot shorter than a full-grown lion, yet nearly twice as heavy, with some individuals weighing over 600 pounds. Saber-toothed cats possessed relatively shorter legs and a bobbed tail, indicating they were designed for ambush attacks rather than long-distance sprints. The scimitar cat, Homotherium serum, known for its impressive four-inch canines, was a widespread presence throughout North America. This predator had a physique more reminiscent of a modern African lion, featuring elongated front legs ideal for bringing down large prey. An adult scimitar cat was more than capable of successfully hunting and dragging a young mammoth back to its den. Last but not least, the giant short-faced bear. Absolutely enormous. The giant short-faced bear, Arctodus simus, claimed the title of the largest carnivorous mammal to ever stride across North America. When standing upright on its hind legs, an adult short-faced bear reached a staggering height of over 14 feet. The most distinctive feature setting it apart from its modern North American bear counterparts was its remarkable, long, sinewy and muscular legs. Through meticulous analysis of skeletal remains, paleontologists have estimated that the short-faced bear possessed the remarkable capability to sprint at speeds exceeding 40 miles per hour, solidifying its status as the fastest bear in history. Enhanced by its capacious nasal cavities, it's plausible that this formidable creature relied on its acute sense of smell to detect nearby carcasses. When it came to securing its meals, the short-faced bear leveraged its remarkable speed and imposing size to intimidate and outpace potential competitors. Giant short-faced bears, despite their imposing name, share no direct kinship with any of the bear species found in North America today. Their nearest living relative, although distantly related, is the modestly sized spectacled bear, also known as the Andean bear. Interestingly, the spectacled bear is the sole bear species indigenous to South America.